G'day guys, M Tintem here. Today we're going to learn about mixed texturing. In this tutorial we'll be uh, making this material that I made off the spot. I like to call it abstract, I guess. Very basic to me, but um, yeah. In this tutorial will be you'll go will be pretty much you will be pretty much fluent in working with mixed textures and Com um, merging all of the generators we used earlier along with other s values such as float texturing and float point and Gaussian spectrum and RGB spectrum so load up your image that you want to uh, color, colorize I have the subsurf scattering object that I tested the monkey so just set your scene up just put this to diffuse get a daylight Daylight's preset. Nice color angle. Nice camera angle. Alright, now the first thing I'm going to do is right click, add material and mix material. This is your mix material node. As you can see, it has a value on how much, on the amount you want the other texture to override each other. And you have your material 1 and your mid material 2. So now, First, we're going to connect this to the monkey or whatever you're going to make, and then we're going to add a glossy and a specular, and then connect these two up. In your specular, I want you to put the color absorption all the way up, and I want you to put the dispersion all the way up. Once that's done, I want you to go to right click. Textures, Colors, RGB Spectrum, put that up and I want you to connect it to your specular material and the transmission and I want you to put that to the whites and just make it a hint red. Once that's done I want you to go to right click, add uh, textures, generators and go to marble texture And I want you to connect that to the bump, normal, normal, and bump. And then just uh, make the, uh, just put that up a bit. Okay, next thing is we're going to add a turbulence. And I want you to connect the marble to the omega. And I want you to connect the turbulence to the amount. And if we click on here, that's what we have on the monkey so far. Okay, now I want you to add right click, textures, colors, go to Gaussian spectrum and I want you to connect the Gaussian spectrum to the power of the turbulence and the reflection of the specular and I want you to put this around the middle this just in front of that and the power not leave the power alright next um, what else And for the glossy, put the film width all the way up. The film index a bit up too. Now, okay, now we're going to then right click material, mix material again, and unconnect that and put that to here and mix and mix. So you should have two mixed materials. I then want you to right click, add materials and go to diffuse connect your diffuse to the second material right click, add textures, colors and go to Gaussian spectrum connect your Gaussian spectrum to the diffuse and then right click, add textures, generators and go to saw and connect that to the wavelength 
and then I want you to go to put the width click on the gouge inspection put the width down and the scaling bit down and press circular if you want if we go back go to the mixed material put that down a two bit go to the specular go to the index and put that to one and go to gaussian spectrum put that down low scaling a bit up and also connect your turbulence to the diffuse so yeah, um, go to mix material, put the value all the way down to zero go to your saw no, go to your monkey and try and click on a scale that will show a nice hard rainbow and don't and uh, to see the full effect don't press circular about there and put the mix uh, put the mix to about about there and if you press on your glossy put the the uh, roughness all the way up just lots of improvisations to get the final effects okay so um as after lots of filling around and trying getting uh, the best output you can get um you can make some very sick stuff including this so I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time and have fun with the materials.